So this is a case of DALC being performed in a patient with macular dystrophy. Superficial keratectomy is being done as I perform in almost all the cases. So we dissect about half of the corneal thickness uh, and the anterior stroma is excised using a crescent blade and regular scissors. This helps us get to a plane where we are able to finally attempt the, the big bubble. So in this case, the Anwar's air bubble technique was attempted as well. We used a 30 gauge needle to get into the posterior stroma and then attempted the bubble. However, what you see here is the emphysema that develops in the stromal layers and that actually helps us go on with our manual dissection further on. So a combination of 15 degree blade, crescent knife and various manual dissectors are used to keep going layer by layer and to go on posteriorly up till we reach the clear cornea. This is the case of macular dystrophy so there is extensive involvement of the stroma right up till the pre-desmetic space. So, it is extremely important to go quite deep in these cases particularly. As we go deeper into the posterior stroma, it becomes even more important to be extremely careful with dissection to avoid a perforation from happening and therefore it's extremely important to use blunt dissectors and scissors with a blunt tip. So after careful dissection, We've reached a point where the cornea is extremely thin but clear. So this is the stage where we would want to stop and excise the residual stroma anterior to it. Just trim the edges so that we get a regular interface and following that we would go ahead and place the graft. So I always strip the desmus membrane from the donor cornea. The graft is then secured with 10 0 nylon sutures. Following this, air bubble, if any, in the anterior chamber is evacuated and the anterior chamber is formed. And as you can see from this anterior segment OCT post operatively, there is really not much residual stromal bed in this particular case. So, to summarize, manual DALC, when done carefully and with the right technique, is quite repeatable and provides extremely good visual outcomes which are comparable to big bubble DALC. Apart from that, in case there is a failed air bubble or a perforation, it is manual DALC that comes to your rescue in these cases. Mm -hmm.